Hi there, boys and girls, and welcome back to Conquering Math, where it all adds up. Today, you will be learning to use tape diagrams to help you solve ratio problems. Let's dive on in. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to use tape diagrams to model and evaluate situations involving ratios. The Common Core State Standard today is to understand the concept of a ratio and use ratio language to describe a ratio relationship between two quantities. First, we need to discuss what a tape diagram is. A tape diagram is a method of modeling ratios using colored bars that resemble tape. For example, you decide to mow lawns with your friend. The ratio of lawns you mow to lawns your friend mows is 3 to 2. In total, the two of you mow 15 lawns. How many lawns did you each mow? We can model this situation with three boxes for you and two boxes for your friend. Laid out, this could look like a piece of tape or measuring tape. This diagram has five boxes, which represent the 15 total lawns mowed, so each box represents three lawns. You mowed nine lawns, and your friend mowed six lawns. This is the strategy that we will use in the upcoming problems. Example number one. The ratio of the number of cars to pick up trucks in a parking lot is four to three. There are a total of 35 vehicles in the parking lot. Use a tape diagram to determine the total number of cars and pickup trucks in the lot. There are four cars to every three trucks. So our tape diagram should have four boxes for cars and three boxes for trucks. This makes for a total of seven boxes which represent the 35 vehicles. So each box will represent five vehicles because 35 divided by 7 is 5. 5 times 4 equals 20, so there are 20 cars, and 5 times 3 equals 15, there are 15 trucks. There are 20 cars and 15 trucks in the parking lot. Example number two. Rowan is building a robot dog and a robot cat. He uses pulleys to make the robot move. The robot dog uses five pulleys for every seven pulleys the robot cat uses. Rowan will use a total of 96 pulleys. How many pulleys will be used for the robot cat? Rowan starts by drawing a tape diagram with five boxes for the dog and seven boxes for the cat. This makes for a total of 12 boxes. Because there are 96 pulleys represented by the 12 boxes, each box represents 8 pulleys. 8 times 7 equals 56. So Rowan will use 56 pulleys to make the robot cat. Example number 3. There are two snakes for every nine turtles living in an exhibit at the zoo. If there are 66 reptiles in the exhibit, how many of them are turtles? We will start by drawing a tape diagram with two boxes representing the snakes and nine boxes representing the turtles for a total of 11 boxes. There are 66 reptiles represented by the 11 boxes, so each box represents six reptiles. Six times nine equals 54. So the zoo exhibit contains 54 turtles. Today you learned to use tape diagrams to model and evaluate situations involving ratios. The Common Core State Standard today was to understand the concept of a ratio and use ratio language to describe a ratio relationship between two quantities. Now that you are familiar with these techniques, complete the independent practice problems in your guided notes packet. Then watch the independent practice solutions video to check your work. Thanks for watching this episode of Conquering Math, where it all adds up. I'll see you next time.